Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4, a story well. Hope you guys are having an incredible day today. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be continuing on the quest line here with the Enclave. We're going to meet with the Senator, I think that's what we have to do, right? Meet, yeah, meet with Senator, complete the shooting range session, which we did. I don't know why this is not completed yet. If anybody knows, did I screw it up? Did I fail? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe meeting with the Senator, maybe this is an optional as well. Uh, but we're going to go and talk to the senator, see what's going on. Uh, also, we do have a level up. But also, before I go any further, I do want to make a huge shout out to, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, uh, Andermonda uh, over here on YouTube for becoming a member. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Uh, you're amazing. Um, They've been commenting um, on pretty much, they binge watched the whole series. And I know I have a few other people that have done that as well. Some members too, which is absolutely incredible. Because we're on episode 140. And if I kind of think about it, that's that's literally like 140 plus hours of binge watching. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you guys are all enjoying the series as much as I am. I know that some of you have kind of have some uh, thoughts on the Enclave and and probably rightfully so some of the comments that I've been reading in terms of how they uh, how the Enclave really are now to kind of give you a little bit of a backstory uh, on me uh, I have not played uh, Fallout 4 to really understand and I guess a lot of the I guess a lot of the content or the Enclave story um, comes from or comes out of Fallout 3 and probably earlier, probably like Fallout 1, Fallout 2, but I've not played those games. I have not watched people play the games, so I'm really kind of in the dark about Fallout, uh, or the Enclave, I should say, so I don't really know too much about how bad of people they are. Uh, so that's why I've been kind of going through with the storyline. I know some people said you should really jump ship and kind of get rid of them. They're no different than the Institute, which I can kind of see I can kind of see that. Uh, I don't know, again, like their backstory. So that's why I'm continuing to go along with it. So I hope you guys don't mind me kind of continuing and seeing where this this particular oops, sorry, uh, mod kind of goes with it. Uh, maybe there's some options that we can maybe convince these people that we can do something a little bit better and save the Commonwealth versus abusing and using the Commonwealth for their own good. You know, who knows? Uh, I don't know. And hoping that we can go that direction. Um, that is why we didn't choose anybody in terms of like a vault dweller for a test experiment. But uh, someone, I think Andermonda mentioned maybe we should have took the one, someone from the Institute, which would have been actually a perfect idea. And I didn't think of that at the time. But that would have been an absolutely perfect uh, person to do. But you know, it is controversial in terms of, you know, they're doing the same thing as the kind of the Institute kind of. I mean, I can go on for a long time, but uh, let's get into this episode because we've got we got things to do. Let's go meet the senator. But first, let's level up. Let's uh, I think we're going to go into commando, right? We're, I, I just want to go and play with uh, an automatic. I, we're going to go through a lot of ammunition, but just to kind of give us a little bit of a different um feel uh, also uh, another thing you know I it, it's been a little bit since I posted a video my grandma is feeling better um, I'm she's taking a nap currently that's why I'm, I'm trying to get a recording done um, but she is definitely feeling better uh, which is a really good thing that's actually kind of an interesting thing have a scale right in front of the sink I never even saw that before so I thank you to everybody with the well wishes and all the prayers uh, because she really needed it. She was kind of struggling and we, after COVID, you know, having some other issues and then kind of set back with this, um, I think we're thinking of a, some kind of infection, but hopefully it's going in the right direction. She's had a couple good nights sleep underneath her and uh, she is, she is feeling better. Um, her strength is coming back. So hopefully uh, I can get back into doing some daily videos and and we can continue on our, our kind of adventure together. So um, let's get on with it. I do also want to shout out all my other members. Uh, thank you so very much for supporting this channel. You guys are been absolutely amazing. 
If you guys have not, uh, I will be... I, I will have another video uh, of Pale World. I usually been posting that in the afternoons. Uh, so for me, it is uh, like around five o'clock. I'm not sure exactly where in the world um, you guys are located, but if you guys want to check that out, um, that will be up on the channel in the afternoons. Also, uh, if you are a member, maybe go and uh, check out the last video that I posted, or I should say the video before that. I guess maybe in the last video too. Uh, if you are a member and you're interested in naming a pal, uh, it's kind of one of the perks of being a member, so uh, go check that out as well if you want to name a pal. But let's meet the senator. Man, this is ah, interesting. Welcome. Please take a seat. Senator, uh, Senator Matthews. We begin. All right, let's take a seat. You guys, uh, Heather and Darlene, Either you just kind of chill out over there. Worry. I watch your back. Thank you, Darlene. That's nice of you, Darlene. Yeah, I'm ready. Senator. We waiting for more people? Uh, okay. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> I think we're missing someone. We're like kind of cut, uh, stuck into a cutscene. Oh no. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to maybe reload and see if we can get past this. Give me one second. All right, guys, I might have been able to fix this. I think we're missing Dr. Kane, which I'm not sure why she's not showing up here. Um, but these guys finally sat down uh, after I left, uh, went outside and then came back in. So let's try sitting back down and see if we can't get <laughs> uh, moving forward with this quest. I Good hope evening, this works. Everyone. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Is Dr. Kane not joining us? A break well She's deserved. currently occupied with Take an autopsy. Take your time I'm sure and wait. Ah, I see. Let's get started then. After speaking with the good general over the past few weeks, I'm pleased to finally make all your acquaintances. I'm sure you all have questions about myself, the state of the Enclave as a whole, and about our next steps. Now, do understand that in the interests of national security, I can only say so much. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I am Henry Matthews, senator representing the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I was elected by your peers to this prestigious position after the untimely death of Senator Clark at this very base. I've been sent here at the president's behest to oversee your progress. And to ensure the common well, president is still exists back into the fold. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. Who is the president? I sort of lost track after Eaton. Given recent events, the president's identity is classified. It's kept on a need to know basis. Mm, that's suspicious. And my good man, you most certainly do not need to know. Nothing personal, you understand? Where is High Command? Sheesh. Do we still have a central headquarters? Well, I'm pleased to inform you that one of the Joint Chiefs is actually right here with you. General Ward was recently appointed chairman. An honor, truly. I'm sure it is. As for the location of High Command, what I will say is we have shifted to more of a distributed structure. That being said, our largest active facility is Mount Weather. Most of the personnel- Excuse me, Darlene. Are stationed there. <laughs> How about you? Lieutenant, was it? Any questions from you? She was just promoted to captain, actually. I was gonna say. A far more appropriate rank from what I've heard. So, any... Any, any questions? Uh... Forgive the oh. intrusion, gentlemen. I have made a troublesome discovery. What seems to be the problem, Doctor? This autopsy, I was certain I would find a way to identify they were a synth. However, I was mistaken. If I didn't know any better, I'd have thought this was simply a vault dweller. It was only once I began the brain biopsy that it became clear it was a synth. There was a circuitry, a lot of it, embedded deep within the brain tissue. Central to it, in fact. It's the only telltale sign I could find. These institutions, since I heard they were lifelike, but seeing one in person, it's both incredible 
and heroin. Way other. It's like I told you. There's no way of telling a synth apart from a human unless you kill it. That's why people fear the Institute. Yes, Colonel. You made your point. The Institute has been on our radar for a long time now. Our agents have looked into numerous Institute-related incidents in the past, but have never been able to pinpoint the Institute's location itself. Well, I kind of know where it's at. With how little we know of them, they could very well be our biggest threat. I'll come back to this in a moment. Now that we have you, Dr. Kane, how has work on the FEV been going? I've made some promising adjustments to the genetic markers it targets, but truthfully, progress is slow. We're struggling with the lab's power supply. There isn't enough to keep the FEV compound stable for more than a few seconds at a time. We can only run tests for a handful of seconds at a time, and only every few hours. Unless we have more power. Myers, is there anything you can do about that? Well, we could always shut down the factory. Like we did last time. That's not an option. Agreed. Only other option is to upgrade the reactors. Which is easier said than done. Leave it with me. I'll think of something. That's your priority now, Myers. See it done. Good. So, to summarize our priorities, Chief Engineer Myers, get us more power. Dr. More Kane, power. you keep working on the FEV. This comes directly from the President. Everyone else... I mean, what are you doing with the FEV is the question. ...to the Institute. We must know what we're dealing with once and for all. And I insist the captain spearhead this mission. They look like the type to get things done. Before I forget, Captain, I brought an exceptional doctor with me. You should have your medical with him in the first instance. Make sure you're at your best and all that. But first, General Ward and I will see you in my office. Now. Okay. Interesting. Now, when she talks about doing the experiment with the FEV, it's like, they don't really tell you much. And I hope that it's kind of for a cure, but I know people in the comments said, no, that's not really kind of what they're trying to do. Uh, report to General Ward's office, and we will once they kind of get back there. A small outpost out in California. I tell you what, they do have different... Like these, these two sets of armor. Quartermaster Barrett's got the best gear in the Commonwealth. Looks pretty cool. I wonder if we can change the paint job on it. If we can get a hold of one of them. All right. Oh, am I supposed to follow you guys? I'm sorry. Uh, you guys, your office is upstairs. All right. Let's into the unknown. Report to General Ward. I, I guess. Do we just need to talk to him? Sir. I haven't got time to talk right now. Okay. Let's head on out. Alright, uh... Okay, they're right behind us. Yeah, they're definitely cleaning this place up. Oh, look! They got the vertebrates in here. Nice. It's kind of cool to see the, the rig actually being fixed back up and... I mean, slowly. It's not really a quick put together. All right, let's go upstairs, and I'm sure we're gonna have to be waiting for them to get to the very top here. Or, oh no, he's already here. Morgan, I have heard your concerns. I assure you, I will take them on board. Now get out. Wow. Interesting. Here, these are your new orders for the next operation. Pass them on to the rest of your sir. Staff. Cap, but, sir. our agents report that you have gained access to the institute and acquired a hotel filled with valuable data. No, there's no mistake. I'm left your questioning your loyalty. Oh, no. I'm giving you a chance to prove me wrong. Wait, am I clear? Yes, sir. First, interesting. I want you to get that holotape to Myers ASAP. I also have orders for you to carry out within the institute. I want a list with the names, titles, and occupations of every key person in there. I think we already Secondly, have that. I want you to keep your eyes open for anything that might help us with the oil rig's power issues, schematics, leads, and so on. Lastly, do not 
under any circumstances raise the alarm. We do not want to make enemies of them. At least, not yet. Questions? Okay, so you want me to do these like really important missions, but you don't want me to, but you don't really trust me. <laughs> so what is it? How do I infiltrate them? Right now, all I'm looking for is a clear picture of who leads what. If you can, simply talk to personnel that appear to be in charge. Then return that information to me. If any suspicions are raised, then the mission will be a failure. Try to keep things from escalating. Well, I've already been kind of there already. What exactly are we looking for? You'll need to get creative here. Myers needs more power out of the reactors, and we're hoping the Institute might have some helpful information. Look around whatever their engineering or generator areas may be, and to keep your eyes open for any terminals or schematics that may be of use. Okay. I can definitely do that. Is there anything else I should know? Ah, yes. That abomination. There is indeed a possibility that you will find her, or her current whereabouts. Once oh, you're in the Institute, keep an eye out for any leads. Is that what she's talking about? About uh, or of um, Vanessa? Okay. Actually, there's no way of getting out of this dialogue. Not saying not right now. How do I get out of this? <laughs> I can't just tab out. And I oh, I can move. Okay. Oh, what? Not right now. Why? Why can't I do that? Not right now. Keep your eyes on the prize and return to me with your findings. Weird. Response to end thing. this? Track down that Vanessa and get rid of her. Her existence spits on the memory of my daughter. Man, I really think Vanessa's actually real. I just I just have this gut feeling. Alright. Okay. We need to sleep. Is the barracks aren't here, right? I don't think we can get to the barracks from here. I think this is the holding cells down here. They are. Heard the facility was crawling with locals. Yeah, we do need to take a nap, but I guess we can we can skip that. So, let's see what we have. Into the unknown, enter the institute, and then retrieve network scanner holotape. And we already have information. Uh, exit main hallway. There we go. Oil rigs look but that we got that for um, the railroad, right? Okay, well, I guess we're heading to the Institute to see what we can find. It's saying to go down? Oh, no, it's, it's telling me to go to the vertebrate. We're going to do that, though. We're going to head on to the vertebrate. We're going to go back to the refueling station. And head over to the Institute, which we just teleport. You know, we could probably just teleport from here. Why don't we do that? Then we don't have to do this whole messing around because we can teleport. Oh, no, never mind. We do have to go to the, the mainland first. That, yeah, let's do that. Let's head over there and then we'll teleport into the Institute and see what we can get our, you know, get what, what we can get in trouble with. Heather, you're so happy all the time. Uh, US, oh, we can go to U.S. Army Depot as well. That's cool. All right, we are back. Where's the Where's the elevator? There it is. Going up. We can always take some caffeine too if we wanna. Let me make this jump. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I can make this jump. Let's do that. A little bit safer. Whoa. That actually kind of freaked me out there for a second. Um, we got beds in here. Let's just take a nap real fast. Let's just go until here. I was not expecting anybody to be here, but it makes a lot more sense. We got a lot more personnel. All right, we're fatigued. No, we're not fatigued anymore. We're just thirsty. Let's go ahead and drink some uh, some tea, I guess. Probably hydrate it, and then some food. 
properly fed. Perfect. Whatever the institute is planning with their sense, it can't be good. Well, I don't know if there's anything going to be good with the Enclave either. Come on now. Yeah, they have this place. Now, are they going to repair this place? I, that'd be kind of cool too. See this place being fixed up over time. Okay, we can now just fast travel to the Institute. Now it's telling me to go to the CIT ruins? Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. Why do I have... Speak to Dr. Daglas for your medical. Oh, was I supposed to shoot? I think I was supposed to do that, but we're gonna we'll we'll come back to that. Enter the institute. Is it possible that they want us to go up here to use the teleporter? But that's it. I have that in the sanctuary, not the truck stop or the Red Rocket truck stop. And it wants me to go to CIT ruins and not the institute. I'm all sorts of confused. Why don't we just head into the institute and see if this doesn't like kind of resolve some of the stuff? Let's go there. So we gotta search for the reactor intel and search for Vanessa. Oh, it didn't bring us into the teleporter room. Interesting, I thought it would've. Okay, we're just in here searching around. Don't mind me, Vanessa. So if she is tied, she definitely is part of I mean, if we find her here, she definitely is a synth, right? Oh, damn it! I was supposed to get those phase three docs to Dr. Lee hours ago. Uh, better late than never. Uh, maybe I can take them for you? <clears throat> hmm? Oh, um, hi. It's you. It, it's me. Uh, what is this phase three? What's this phase three? Oh, well, we've been working on a way to increase our power output and- Oh, there we go. Wait. No, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, especially since I need to get this file to Dr. Lee. And I'm late to a meeting. <laughs> oh, not again. I can help you. I'll take care of it. Uh, oh, you would? Nice. I don't know. I'm so behind on... Okay, yes, sure. Here you go. Give this to Dr. Lee straight away. Nobody else, understand? N4. So this is what we need then? Or do we need to take it to her? No, we got the reactor intel. Beautiful. All right, now we just need to kind of look for Vanessa somewhere in here. Okay, it still wants me to go to the Red Rocket for some reason. Hmm, I don't think I have anything selected over there. Uh, we have robotics. Where would Vanessa be? I wonder if you'd be in the bioscience area. Let's just go check it out. No. All right, nothing that's pointing me to. Maybe we should go talk to father? Robotics. Synth retention, probably not. When it comes to rules and policies. Let's see what what is this one here? Advanced systems. Let's go check this out. Maybe she's part of this program in here? No. Here's Sean, the, the synth Sean. Well, yeah, the synth Sean. Got nothing in here. Is there any way of getting back there? Is it gonna hurt me? No. It just stops me. Okay, so nothing in here.
I would have to assume we probably need to talk to Sean. Oh, what's going on here? Synth unit, you were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB last night. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report, sir. I carried out my duties, as usual. Dr. Ao saw you accessing a terminal. You know you are not permitted to access terminals in that section. Is Dr. Ao mistaken? Yes, I mean, no, he's not. But I was only... What is it? Were you or weren't you accessing a terminal in SRB? I was, but I swear it's not what it sounds like. I was cleaning the terminal and it, it switched on by mistake. I was just shutting it down. Was that a stutter? Have you developed a defect, unit? Maybe you need to be reset. Sir, mm. I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. You don't want me to tell you twice. Now get back to your duties. Interesting. Yeah, we, maybe that's a clue? <clears throat> it's an honor to meet you, ma'am. Eh. Yeah. Dr. Ao's office. I can't remember where her office is. Maybe go up? Because maybe the terminal? Oh, Ao, right here. Let's check this out. Sable security di uh, safeguards? Okay, so they've been disabled. From what, though? So no, besides that one terminal, there's no other terminals in here. All right. I'm assuming we have to find her office, not her personal. And I just can't remember which one that is. You know, I don't think we've ever been up here. <laughs> we've never explored this. Uh, laboratories. Ooh. I don't think we've ever been here. Initiate lockdown? Whoa. What does that do? Well, here's a terminal. Advanced systems will be starting a new dark matter initiative soon. What? Let's check out this terminal. The V3N rifle. Through the com uh, combined efforts of the Bioscience and Advanced System Division, a new experimental weapon has been developed. Named the V3N Rifle. This, wep this weapon fires self propelled darts or uh, a fletchet, fletchet rounds at the target. I think those are those like, like dart looking things, but they're metal. Um, for like, they're mo mainly like um, anti personnel at which can cause catastrophic damage to tissue, impair motor functions, or even ca um, cat catalyst rapid healing should it be used on allies. Hmm. The firearm also has been reinforced uh, injector that can be used at close combat encounters, injecting targets with a large dose of contained ammunition. Hmm. Various ammunition can be developed to achieve whatever effect that may be desired by surface operatives. Huh. Synthetic lubricant, sticky napalm, icing agent, corrosive, and caustic venom. Devastating to the target with rapid regenerative tissue mutation, this fletchet injects the fast spreading synthetic bacteria directly into the target's bloodstream induces rapid cell death. So are they using, are they talking about the, uh, what was the gun called? It's the, the, mind blank, <laughs> corrosive access. Uh, it's the syringer. There we go. Uh, injector of the uh, mixture of toxic and re re reactive acids make this ammunition well suited against highly arbored targets where direct Induction of venom into the bloodstream may be unlikely. Icing agent reports from surface operations have shown that the fast moving and airborne targets can ca uh, have caused issues despite the heightened targeting and motion prediction um, 
matrices of our synths. As such, this ammunition is well suited for slowing these by injecting a metabolic, metabolic inhibitor. Injection of this compound also results in tissue cryopreservation, ideal for transporting of live specimens for examination. So is that how they're pulling people in, I'm guessing? Sticky napalm, most notably useful against aquatic-based targets. This ammunition coats surrounding surroundings in the flammable compound upon detonation. Compounds affliction or affinity for bi biological materials such as uh, or sorry, not such as. What am I reading here? Uh, biologic material makes this uh, subsequent devastating inferno inescapable should the target take refuge in water. It's also impo important to note that these effects on human psyche making surviving witnesses think hard on the Institute's unquestionable authority. Synth lubricant. Initially, it developed for increasing the effectiveness of our robot uh, robotic mechan uh, mechanism. Wow, I'm having a hard time just reading today. <laughs> Machinery. Uh, this fluid highly shear thinning and friction modifying capabilities could result in rather entertaining effects in combat. Targets subjected to the injection of this compound have trouble handling their weapons, ammunition, and even their own two feet. So it kind of makes them stumble and fall. Bioelectric uh, syn uh, synthesis. Perhaps the most effective and devastated ammu ammunition, this venom is injected onto whatever surface the round has punctured, releasing a mixture of um, bacterial enzymes which bind to the organic and non-organic matter alike. A subsequent discharge of electricity from the Fletchet capsule is, is then conducted through the enzymes and their attached molecular or molecules. Oh, when exposed to this volt uh, voltage, the enzyme catalyst rapidly ionization of the matter upon their bound. These ion uh, cetacean then results in breakage of the atom bonds, reducing the target into a pile of their rapidly oxidizing constantly. Uh, interesting. So where is this weapon? Like we don't have this this weapon available to us, at least not yet. It'd be kind of interesting to get our hands on it. There's another terminal. The synth CAST armor. Analysis, analysis of battle reports from the surface operations reveal the necessaries. Necessity for an overhaul of our synth armor. The new design entitled, entitled the Synth CAST, or the Compact Acceleration Servo Technology, showca showcases a far more material aesthetic while maintaining the original practicality, uh, ensuring efficient and under, um, underhinding, un, under, un hindering movement across the battlefield. Furthermore, sensors within the armor detect Exert, exerted forces from the motion where assisting in enhance and enhancing the desired motion through the built-in servo motors. Yeah, I'm stumbling today on reading, guys. Mankind redefined. I apologize. The X-92 Ghost Spectrum Suit. The Phase 3 complete. Our near-limitless resource have been enabled development of a new flexible polymer now taking the form of a Ghost Spectre X-92 power suit. Whoa, where do we get their hands on this? The most advanced armor produced, nigh instructable to energy, explosive, and ballistic weapons. Direct interfer uh, interface with the nerve system through the spinal cord allows for rapid and enforced movement greater than any power armor has achieved. Stealth capabilities activated at a thought the suit is now undergoing thorough test by our very own director. The enemies of the Institute are, are going to soil themselves when they see this, if they ever see us see it come. Scratchy, isn't it? Whoa, they have some amazing stuff happening here. And I don't know why we have not seen it yet. Okay. Let's go this direction. Let's see if we can't find it. So we're looking for Dr. AO's office. What is this? Command.
command center. Never have we been in here. We have a terminal. I'm guessing this is where father sits. Uh, let me see what it would look like. <laughs> I am command here. Now, what? What's up with the synths on the side there? The, the coursers. Is this like a doorway? No, uh, that's just like a synth doorway. Let's see what about this terminal? Hand center terminal. Phase one, so isolation, innovation, consolidation, and expansion is in progress. Going forward, with the completion of phase three, the Institute has successfully secured its destiny as the future of mankind. In our next phase, we will be greatly extending our projects now possible due to our limitless source of energy. Since the fall of the Brotherhood of Steel, There's no fall. What am I missing? Uh, we have made our existence known to those on the surface. While this may allow for more opportunity in recruiting, it may also expose us to more anger. That's true. I can assure that any threat can be disposed of effortlessly as was the Brotherhood. Though, remember, the anger towards us is misunderstood. In that, I could not possibly comprehend our work in improving mankind. Some of the achievements still be granted to ease the survival on the surface, though previous observations prove that th thorough testing is always required before th drastic action. And until then, each sacrifice will be acceptable loss when weighed against the lives we can save. Um, they're not saving anybody's life. They're literally replacing people with robotics, and those robotics are not humans. Uh, but remember, taking the life of an innocent is always harder than taking your own, if you're sincere. It's the ultimate test of selfishness, whether you're ready to face unending emotional pain, true agony, the, the gain, the power to create peace and order for thousands of total strangers. This is the sacrifice to be vilified by others and for your personal sacrifice to be totally unknown to those thousands you save. To do your duty as a member of the Institute, to do your duty for the good of mankind. It's easy to be a clear-cut hero slaying mutants and ghouls. There's always a little bit of vanity in it. There can be no room for vanity or pride in being despised. Director. I mean, they truly believe that they're doing good, but... I mean, replacing humans with... With, with sense? Not, not definitely not do. I mean, what do they do with the people? Be honest with you, I don't know. I, I don't know if I really know. All right, what is our mission? We're looking for. So we're 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 searching for Vanessa and then retrieve the network scanner hollow tape. Is it possible that we have... Oh, that's why it's pointing us back to the Red Rocket, because I have it probably stored there. Creation. That's why the hollow... Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I just don't know where Vanessa would be. Residential, maybe? I have never really explored this place. Block A? I love how they just have like, they just grab dirt and put it here. <laughs> and then they have a tree. How many blocks are there? Block B, block C, block C, so block D. So there's several blocks. I'm guessing this is the same, yeah. All right, let's go to block A. Hello? I'm confused. Did it just, like, take me back out? No? I'm assuming this is probably a room, huh? Oh, 
Oh, it took me back out. Oh. Yeah, back out. Okay, we're we're not gonna go and explore every single one of these. I don't think she's in here. And I think we're just gonna go through every single room, and I don't want to do that. If there's a reason I should be in there, please let me know down in the comment section. I'd, I'd like to know if I need to go in there. But I think it's just more or less a way to kind of show that there's like more to this. Is like where the residential area where they live. Laboratories. Okay, we're just we just made a full circle. We need to find Vanessa. Wherever she may be. So let's head back down. She probably is one of the departments. Or she's with father. Like, isn't this? Hello. Well, let me can I close this door? Who are you? Quentin Fillmore? Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, this is definitely not father's room. Alright, I'm gonna jump off the edge here. Uh, van systems we already checked out. I hope all your needs are being seen too. Newton? Just let me know if they're not. Newton. Dr. Oberly. Oberly? Our new sense are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. Yeah, but what, I mean, what do you do with the real people that you capture? You know what would be the really odd thing is that the people that they capture, they they literally put them like in a in a completely underground facility that has like all their needs. Bioscience. Did we go into bioscience? I thought we did. Let me just double check. Yeah, we did. And we did not find Vanessa in here at all. Hmm. This is where we found the, the FEV or stuff, though. We do have a terminal, but we, we've already read through all these. I would. Well, unsurprisingly, I have. All right, let's go see if we can find Father, because I think that's where we're going to find Vanessa. All right, where... How do we get there is the question. Well, someone dropped the glass. I hear we're about to get a new food supplement. Maybe... It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Hmm. I just don't remember how to get... I thought it was upstairs, but let's just take the elevator. Maybe the elevator... takes us where we need to go. Uh, this is definitely not open. Oh, can I not... Oh, here it goes. Going up. I thought it was in one of these areas here. Was kind of his place. But I could be wrong. I thought this is where the teleporter is. I think? It's been so long since we've been in the Institute. Yeah, this is where the teleporter is. But this is not where I want to be. Let's head back down. Hmm. Vanessa, 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 where? Search for Vanessa. And it doesn't really tell me where I need to go either. Here, let's look at the map. Well, it's kind of hard to see it in here with all the light. <laughs> That's a residential. That seems like a potential... There. Residential, residential. So maybe up there? 
Okay, let's look at the map real fast. Do we have a local map? It does, but I don't think it's going to help us at all. No. There's not another location here. Red Rocket. Yeah, I don't see anything showing up in terms of Vanessa. I think he said she was, like, search for her here. Let's just go upstairs and see if we can't find father and is that uh, just just have a feeling that's where we're gonna find her oh here here's father but son so ask him i'm glad to see you return or son safely. yeah not father I know <laughs> the task was difficult but i needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be well, you're the one that created it. Um, I don't care about who to blame. I just wanted to stop the a killer. Yeah, the Institute created the synth, so the Institute is responsible for what it does. 100%. The Institute created that synth, so the Institute is responsible for what it does. I disagree. A synth is no more inherently evil than a handgun. When a man dies by gunshot, is the weapons make her blamed? True. Of course not. The blame rightly falls on he who pulled the trigger. Yes, we created the synth. But whether they intended to or not, the railroad's agents turned it into a killer. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Hmm. Yeah. Visit your quarters. No Vanessa. I don't know where to find her then. I wish you could have known father as we have. And where is our quarters anyhow? I'm not, I mean, I, I don't think I really, it, it really doesn't matter. Is this like an elevator? It is. Okay, I think, <laughs> I, I'm not 100% sure what direction we go with this. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna head back to We're going to head back to Red Rocket and grab that tape. I'm not sure where we're going to find the synth or Vanessa. I don't find her in here. Maybe it's something that we're just going to discover out and about doing other things. I'm not sure, but we're going to teleport out of here. We're going to head back to Red Rocket. We're going to grab that uh, that hollow tape, maybe head back to the oil rig and give it to uh, General Ward. And we'll go from there. All right, let's 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 use the teleportation. Even though we can just teleport wherever we want to, I'm going to try to use the teleporter room. I guess I don't. Maybe I can't use the teleporter room. <laughs> uh, I guess I just teleport out of here or fast travel at least. Okay, uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to fast travel over to Red Rocket, and I'll see you guys there. Oh, okay. We're in. Oh, boy. Can we get out? There we go. We're in... I need to figure out the... Um, I think there's a like a carpet or something that we can put down so that our respawn point is not right in this bus. Um, or it's like a, a, a mat or something. Okay, uh, looks like... Ain't looking for trouble. Wait. Why? Sturgis? Sturgis. Remember that hollow tape oh, with all the Institute right. data? I need it back. That's right, I gave it to him. To analyze it, I think. Oh, yeah? Why? What have you got cooking? Mmm... Let's just say I was the one who risked my neck getting the data, so I handed over. I'm afraid the information classified. 
Uh, I'd have to kill you. No, doesn't matter why I need it. Doesn't matter why I just need it for something. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. definitely not these two here. It doesn't matter why. I just need it for something. Sure thing. I was just curious. Here you go. I've Thanks, already Sturgis. made myself a copy. Good. Good, good. I, I would have recommended that anyhow. Uh, so we can give it to the chief engineer, Myers, and he can probably give us, like, unlimited power then for the Enclave. Do, do we have a location yet? Let's do this. If I hit R, yeah, it doesn't show. So I don't think it's I don't think she's gonna be. I don't think she's gonna have any information, or it's gonna be in the institute. Well, it's showing to go to the institute. Hmm. Yeah, enter the institute and then search for Vanessa. So she's there somehow, somewhere. Question is, where is that somewhere? And I think we'll have to yes. check out next episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this video, please don't forget that like button. It helps out the channel a lot and also helps out this series immensely. The channel has been, uh, been growing, and uh, but we can use your help to grow it further. So if you do want to help grow the channel, please... Don't forget to hit that share button. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification so you're no notified when the next video comes out. Uh, also, don't forget to share us out on social media if you want to help support me. Um, and again, grow the channel. Uh, thank you to all my members. And speaking of members, I want to thank uh, Ander, um, Ander Monda. I hope I pronounced that correctly, and I probably didn't. Uh, but thank you for being a new member here on YouTube. Uh, if you want to become a member, I am... Uh, I do have a couple membership programs here on YouTube, Patreon, as well as flankandfiregaming.com. So I'd highly recommend checking out uh, those if you want to help support me and allow me to do this long term. I'd love to be able to play, uh, give you guys playthroughs of games long term. Um, right now in the situation that I'm in, I I have the ability, but long term, I'm, I'm not making enough money to be able to do this full time. But uh, thank you to all those members that have been supporting me. You guys are insane. Uh, I really, really, really do appreciate it. I truly mean that. So thank you so very much. Um, we do have merchandise. So if you're interested in any kind of uh, Flanker Fire Gaming uh, swag, I do have merchandise over on flankerfiregaming.com as well as location for donations. So if you do want to make a one-time donation, that is the perfect location to do so. Um, also, if we want to support the channel, but not through any kind of financial means or just want to just help out a little bit further, I do have an Amazon affiliate link. Um, all the links to all this stuff is down in the description below, so you can easily just click on it and go to those pages. Uh, but we do have a Amazon affiliate link. Use that link every time you go to Amazon, and I earn a commission on those purchases. It's really easy to do. All you do is click on the link, or maybe just create a link using, uh, or create a, a, <laughs> a shortcut uh, or a bookmark to Amazon with my link. And maybe share that with friends and family or parents or whatnot. Uh, it helps out the channel, so I appreciate it. Also, I do have a Zydax affiliate link, so if you're looking for a system and you're interested in purchasing something through Zydax, please use my my code or my link down in the description below, um, and I'll earn a commission on the purchase. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you for those that have been using it. You, you guys are amazing. You Grey Garden. You should go. Also, I do have, we do have a community Discord. If you want to join the community and chit-chat with the rest of the community members, uh, head on over there. Uh, again, link down in the description. And as well as I'm over on Twitter or on X, throw, throw me a follow if you're on X or Twitter. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I do post quite a bit over there of things that I find kind of interesting in the gaming world. So thank you guys again so very much for being, um, being amazing, amazing community. It's awesome to to really see how many people are out there um, really enjoying my content. It's It's been very much a blessing, so really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely incredible day, and we'll see you guys next time.